If we place a stop limit order on the market, which is what we're doing right here, then a new field is added. And this field is the input field for the limit area on the left here in the trader bar. This gives us various options. Here we can enter a fixed amount. So let's say 44. And if we now shift the trader bar and let go, the amount still does not change. To check the limit amount that we have entered, we can see that the limit price is reproduced here in the center of the order manager. A further possibility is the input of a variation in the stock price in this field, which we can achieve by entering a plus or minus sign. As an example now we'll use a plus sign, plus 10, which in this case means that 10 ticks will be added to the stop price of 4303 on the left here. We can easily check on this down here in the order manager. We can see 4313, our limit price, and our stop price of 4303, so exactly 10 ticks. Of course, this also works the other way around, for a short order with the minus input option. If we now shift the trader bar, then our stop limit price also changes to a sum corresponding to the entry stop. If we enter a zero here, then the limit price is equal to the stop price. And we can see this down here in the order manager once again.